the country. We really are the valley of the poor. In many cases, you see it every single day. An estimated in 2008, an estimated 1,730 health care related bankruptcies occurred in my congressional district, primarily because people could not pay for their health care costs. In 2008, health care providers in my district provided $167 million worth of un uncompensated care to patients who lacked coverage to pay for the their bills. Earlier this summer, legislation to reform health care was introduced into the House and is now making its way through the various committees and is going through the markup process. We have a long way to go before we get it right. To date, it's not quite there. We need a lot more work on this bill. The guiding principles for any measure that receives my vote include the following. Improved access to care. Increasing the number of physicians here in my valley. Ensuring that important decisions are made by a doctor and a patient. And providing comprehensive coverage, which also eliminates pre-existing conditions as a requirement so that if for some reason you lose your job, you're laid off, you don't lose your health care as well or your access to it. And finally, we have to bring down the cost of health care. If we don't do that, if we don't reduce the cost of health care, in about 12 years, Medicare spending and health care costs will swamp every other expenditure in the federal government budget but defense and social security. There won't be any money for education. There won't be any money for the National Weather Service. There won't be any money for building roads or parks or doing any of the things that we think are important as part of our lives. The federal government does a myriad of things. We fight about the federal budget every year. But the part we fight about, that you hear all the debate about, that consumes all our time, is about 15% of the actual expenditures. Everything else is pretty much on autopilot. The military spending is on autopilot, 50% of our budget. 35% on Social Security and Medicare, and the rest, that other small piece, is the part that you hear us talking about. Interest on the national debt, all by itself, 